We've all heard of the Joby tripod, and that's the one with these like little ball joints in the legs, and you can bend it, and you can mount it to anything, and, and put it round things, so it, it, it's like if you've got a pole or something, you can make it go round, or a rod above, or something, you can fit it high up, and put like a flash or a light on it or a camera or a GoPro or something like that. And they were really revolutionary design, but they do have the issues and the ball joints do wear out, but there is a Joby beta and that's called the Gizmo. Now let's roll the intro and let's have a look at this Gizmo and why it's better than the Joby tripod. Well, the gizmo, this is it here, and it's a three-legged tripod, the same. It has a ball joint on top. It has a mounting point. You can either fit a camera, or you can fit a camera, or anything with the, the quarter-inch screw thread. It's a really nice device, and you can also buy a version where it comes with two of these extra arms. And why these are great is you can screw them onto the side of the tripod, and then you can bend them up, and you can mount something on here. So it comes with two of these, and they can one can fit each side. It can screw on this side and it can also screw on this side as well. So you've got two fitments. So what you can do is you can fit a light, a camera and a sound recorder all on the one tripod and capture that sound. But where this, this little unit where I love it even more is that you can use these screw mounts and you can mount them onto a a light stand because that has a, has a quarter inch thread. And once you've got it on that stand, then you can actually unscrew the legs, the feet part here, and gives you another thread to screw onto. So then you can have all of these multiple points where you can screw things into. So you can in theory have it high up and you can have one, two, three, four mounts, five mounts on one, on one tripod. And this is what makes this really unique. And these little rubble devices here also have a hole in them. So you could also use something to actually hang it, hang it upside down. So this little device is a lot cheaper than a JB. They're quite cheap. This one here is around about $50, $60 Aussie. And for that sort of money, you can buy a few of them. And these things are extremely, extremely handy. And what I also like about it is that this rubber part that they've made it out of is super grippy. So if you put it on something that's normally a slippery surface or it might slip, even if it's at an angle, then it won't slip, it'll stay there. So this little device is really, really fantastic and you should really check them out. And as you can see here, I've got a camera on it, I've got a, a sound recorder on it, and you can also fit a light on the other one, but I don't have a lot of those little screw-on lights, but I do have the NAND tube lights and you can screw it on. So you could, in theory, have something, if you was doing some sort of product photography and you wanted the light very, very close and, and, and you wanted everything mounted on the one tripod and you wanted to keep that shot very, very still because it's very hard when you're doing product photography or you're getting close up to keep that shot steady if you're doing video, then you can do that right here and then you can probably move your hands if you're showing something or opening something and you can do that with this tripod and have all of your stuff right there all on the one tripod when you can't do that with the Joby tripod. So guys, this is a cheap tool for photography, very handy tool and I really recommend it. And that's where I'm going to leave the video and I will see you next video.